Jace Tunnel here, Mission Aransas National Extreme Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. And look at what we're talking about today. Some people call it a sand collar. So they find this along the beach whenever they're walking along and they think it's a broken piece of plastic because, I mean, it actually feels like a piece of plastic. Uh, I think you'll be real interested to see uh, where this actually comes from. And right here I'm holding in my hand the moon snail. Some people call it a shark's eye. It actually looks like a shark's eye. Uh, but this is an egg casing that comes from the moon snail. There's actually thousands of little eggs that are in this gelatinous uh, sandy uh, collar that this thing produces. And so it will release these and uh, lots of times you'll find them whenever you're walking along the high tide line. Uh, this one is all dried out. Uh, we had some really high tides this week and now uh, the tides are down. So this was stuck up and uh, dried up in the high tide line, but it'll eventually break down and you won't even be able to tell what it was. Uh, but, but you can see one of the interesting things about it, it's got this lip right here. So this is where it would actually uh, fit in. So as the moon snail is laying this egg, it kind of wraps around. And then it's got, uh, as it kind of dries a little bit, it's a little uh, wavy uh, on the edges here. But it looks very cool, and a lot of people don't know that uh, the moon snail is where it actually originates. Now, another cool thing that we've been finding in the high tide line, at least the last few months, is this little, it's actually clear. And you might be thinking, man, what's that have to do with the moon snail he's talking about? Well, this is uh, the operculum cover. So the operculum is that hard cover that actually protects the snail when it's alive. And so it would be, you know, uh, right up inside of there. And so if you see something that looks like, a, another, again, another piece of plastic or something like that, that's actually a, something natural. And it protects the snail uh, whenever it's up inside of its shell. So now you know a little bit more about the sand collar which is actually a mass of uh, egg, egg casing, and then um, the operculum, all for the shark's eye. Here's a little, little shark's eye that really looks like an eye. So, okay, till next time, we'll talk to you later, bye.